Welcome to a quick demo of ITI's Intermediate Rigging eLearning course. At ITI, we fully believe in hands-on training, traditionally done in person with an instructor. But since we can't train everyone face-to-face, -face, you'll find that our eLearning courses are inspired with this hands-on attitude in mind. The purpose of this video is to provide you with an inside look at the Intermediate Rigging course. We'll look at the subjects covered in each module, as well as how these subjects are conveyed to students. Also, we'll answer the question, who should take this course? And lastly, touch on how you should utilize e-learning for these subjects. To kick this off, let's take a quick look at this course by the numbers. The Intermediate Rigging course is made up of six half-hour standalone modules, a total of three hours of runtime. You're also able to purchase any assortment of the modules by themselves if there are subjects that don't apply to you. You'll see what we mean. The course is delivered through problem-solving workshops, but why tell you about it when we can just show you? Let's start by having a look around the e-learning player. Each module begins with a safety introduction. Meet your partner in e-learning, Boomer. Hello! and welcome to Industrial Training International's ITIE Learning Course. My name is Boomer, your friend and guide for this course. As you can see, I am a mobile crane, so all my life I've been lifting and transferring loads. Sometimes there have been really tricky situations, but in my 20 years of experience in crane and rigging operations, I have not had a single accident. You know why that's so? Because I am very strict with my operators and ensure they stick to all the rigging guidelines. Once, because of the ignorance of an operator and the riggers, I nearly witnessed a mishap. Let me show you how I avoided that situation. After Boomer explains how he avoided that accident, he outlines the subjects that comprise the course. Modules in this course include the Journeyman Riggers Card Orientation, Load Weight Estimation, Finding the Center of Gravity, Load Distribution, Load Control, and Sling Tension. Now let's have a closer look at these modules. The Journeyman Riggers Card Orientation Module identifies how to use this tool throughout the other modules and in the field. ITI has sold over 1 million reference cards due to their ease of use and their in-the-field application. This module identifies how to use the card for calculation of sling capacities, load weights, rigging hardware capacities, hitches and load control, as well as finding hand signals. And each module contains several problem-solving workshops throughout to check your understanding. The Load Weight Estimation module identifies the importance of estimating weight prior to lifting, as well as how to do so using simple formulas. Students are taken through the theory of load weight estimation before giving several calculations a try. Finding the center of gravity is a module dedicated to clarifying what the CG is and how to determine it. Students are instructed how to calculate the center of gravity through theory and formulas. Then we take students through problem-solving methods to ensure that they know how to calculate the CG of a load in the field. The Load Distribution module describes how load weights are distributed between lifting points during lifts. Students learn how to calculate the weight applied to each lifting point, ensuring neither point is overloaded and that the correct equipment is used to make the lift. Lifting and load transfers with trolley beams, multiple cranes, and lifting beams are used to challenge students in the workshop sections. The Load Control module ensures that students understand key considerations regarding hitch configurations and their effect on controlling the load. Students learn to identify all of the hitch types and their characteristics including CG placement, leg loading, and level of load control. Practice problems again reinforce how to select sling configurations concerning good load control. The Sling Tension module instructs students to identify the amount of loading that is taking place on slings at different angles. Students find sling tension based on the load factor and share of load. They are then required to make proper rigging selections based on the actual loading of the sling. Several examples involving two, three, and four sling configurations expose students to many situations in which they must find all sling tensions.
As you just saw, the course content is engaging and interactive. Students should be prepared to crunch numbers with the problem-solving workshops as they learn how to rig it right. As you learned about what makes up the modules in this course, it's evident that the course is intended for intermediate to advanced riggers. People who conduct rigging come from a variety of backgrounds, skills, and crafts, including welders, boilermakers, laborers, carpenters, and so on. Lastly, this course is an ideal preparation course for students who need or would like to gain qualified or certified rigger status through a nationally accredited or even third-party agency. So whether you're interested in this course for yourself or you're the training manager ready to distribute it to your employees, you may be interested to have a live demo with one of us here at ITI. Also, you may want to check out the Basic Rigger and Signal Person Crane Operations e-learning demo video as that course is often integrated with this intermediate rigging course. Be sure to reach out to an ITI training solutions expert with any questions. We hope you enjoyed this demo video and remember to always rig it right.